Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator. And this morning, Rizwan was working on a GUI tool where he wanted to have like a child relationship where a pop-up window comes up and it is kind of owned by the other main GUI window. And Irfan was walking him through it. We started off talking about a parent-child relationship, but near the end, we decided it's much better explained to be, say, like a pop-up window because um, the parent-child doesn't actually have the same restrictions as what we wanted here. We wanted it where the, uh, the new window was active and you couldn't activate the other window um, until you closed that pop-out window. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. We do have a great intro to GUI's course, if you're interested. Um, there's a link at the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Here I am describing how to do parent-child window connection. So when a parent window pop up a child window, the parent is disabled and we do not uh, access the parent until we deal with the child window. So. So here is our parent window or parent GUI. So I'm creating it and let's give it uh, some control. So add text and in the text, so name. So for example, name. And here I'm doing parent.add edit stock. And uh, just finish this window. Then I can show this window, okay? And uh, let's add some buttons. Okay, so button is to, okay. So, um, okay, add address. For example, for example, we are adding some address. Okay, so the address go is different. So. The child GUI is our address GUI, so so GUI um, uh, the name is the address, okay, info, and here I would say parent, and here I would say parent dot h w and d. So this is how. So this child. Parent is this one. So this is the parent. This is the child now. So let's example. Uh, let's add some control here. And what I would do here is uh, address, and I would do some edit box with uh, with some height. Like uh, okay, eight rows. And uh, let's increase it to hundred and fifty. Mm, let's do a new line. Sad. Mm, yeah, that's correct. And then I would do add button. So save address and. Uh, yeah, cancel. So it is suggesting me where I get. So, so here we I have to do something and let's deal with these letters. So, so right now we are just adding these buttons here. So, so this is let's see both our GUIs. So, right now, okay. Let let me increase the size of the GUI. So, parent set font twelve. And same goes for the child that font 12. So I deep stop and debug it. So I I have both GUIs, I think. Okay. Hmm. So now I forget about it. So this is not a parent child. So so in the parent window, let me increase the size here. So um, H is equal to 200 and W is equal to 400. So, okay, let me remove that. Okay, so this window has some inside a window. So that's child parents. So that these are not different. So what I was thinking about, I, I always consider. So this is the owner and the, so let me, the name every one so this is the owner GUI so 
and and we can call this one uh pop up okay it's a pop up query so when i run this now the okay so i have to set it on a the option should be on or now okay so the so right now i can deal with both guis you can see let me increase the width of this one too so i have to do x m plus m and let's say 350 so if i create them so i have two different so when i press this button it should give me this pop-up window for example just just for an example so let me increase the width of the 160 and uh, i will not show this now so how would i show it so when i add so i have to do on event and click show pop up dot show but before showing this I have to disable the owner and uh, then show the GUI. So I have to do two tasks. So I I would do I would do a function here. So show pop up. So this is my function now. And what I would do here. So I would do pop up dot show inside here but let's try that and so right now if i click this so i have this GUI, but i can deal with this one so i can type in both one but i have to disable that so what i would do here is here i would do enabled equals to false when i do this and hit address here so you can see uh my bad okay it is not disabled so i have to do options and uh, plus disabled so you can see i cannot click here this is blinking so i have to when i hit save mm -hmm. then i have to hide this and enable this one so right now save button it doesn't working so i have to set up this way so hit save so here i would do save address so what i would do here is let me close this one so save address in the save address i have to do two things so i get this address okay and uh, i get this address and put it in in here so i have to create an address here mm, something like that and uh, maybe I have to put some rules in there so yeah but this is just read only so right now I have this address here but I cannot type here to add an address I have to need a pop-up window and I type here and I hit save or I say insert so address will be inserted there so this is just an example mm, here I would do okay honor address is equal to this so I would do honor address dot value is equal to dot value so text is transfer here and then I would just enable it by do this so minus disable was enable the honor and then hide the pop window mm, hide and then 
empty whatever I type. So if I run this and uh, I type a name and uh, sorry, some name and I want to add address, but it is read only to add address. I have to click this button. So this give me this pop up. I cannot handle this one. I cannot deal this uh, deal with this one unless I unless I finish with this one. So so my address and as soon as I hit save, address is there. I cannot modify this one. And uh, now this is enabled. So as soon as I hit this thing and now I want to change the new address. So I cannot click it here unless I save this one. And this is here. And uh, again, so this is very simple thing to do. Yeah, th this is a great uh, example of parent window. Uh, uh, no, you... Not parent window, by the way. It's honor and uh, mm. uh, it's kind of honor and uh, what we call the other GUI. I, I don't have for us. So I, I would just call it a public window. So so the this GUI has a honor. This GUI, the pop-up GUI has a honor, mm -hmm. which is this GUI. So when this GUI show up, this GUI show up always over the honor, it will not go under. So unless I, so if I disable these lines, so when I run this, so you will see, I cannot, move so this is always pop up over it never goes under the other GUI so 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 you can see them and if I just remove that so if I just remove that for example and if I hit this thing you can see and ah uh, okay yeah you can see that now I have to bring both over so this is over and this is so uh, you can see now now they are like overlapping each other but because now there is no relation they are independent so i have to show this is the honor so they know each other so I, this <clears throat> window should be over this window and then i have to disable them when i show this window i disable this one and this relationship also works with with those so I never tested the other way around so let me just do it so when I show this one this is disabled I can work with that okay I have to close that and then if I remove just this thing and just let's try that thing so some name I add thing and oh it is disabled okay this one is disabled and this is not going under that's something so cast okay this is doing the same thing so for the cancel so you can see that if i cancel this one it is not doing any action so i have to do a cancel action so i have to do a close pop up so in closing pop up i have to do two things so i have to enable the honor and then hide the pop up so i show um, yeah i have i have to ignore the parameters so i type here something and i cancel yeah it, it vanished and i do not get any address here so this is a good uh, good example and uh, i always use relationship with honor because this really must be over that one so and i always confuse with honor and current i don't know why so honor GUI dot hwnd and uh, i hope you will learn something from this this simple example uh, i have to uh, i was i was learn i was playing around with this gui so much and then i learned about this in v1 
it was very difficult but in v2 it's very simple because the events are events are very simple these so so v1 is very v2 is very simple all right so thanks for uh, watching that video if you learned something please like the video we do have a intro to GUI's course in v2 and in v1 but as Irfan just said v2 is so much easier and all of our courses come with a 200 money back guarantee so you might want to check that out have a great day thank you cheers